7 o'clock in the morning, I'm going for a hike, boys. Down to Porcupine Gorge. That's her there. Camera doesn't really do it justice. It looks a lot more spectacular in person. Anyway. It's uh, 1.1 kilometers down to the bottom of it, down a flight of steps. It's about three quarters of a mile. And we're here at the bottom. I made it down that ridiculously steep path. I am going to struggle on the way up. Anyway, Alison's going for a swim. I'm going to get me drawn up. So, you have to forgive the heavy breathing. About three quarters of the way up. I would show you the beautiful drone footage I took, except I dropped my drone down a rocky embankment and I can't get it. God damn it. Why can't I go on a trip without losing a drone? Alison, who is super, super fit, has gone back down to see if she can find my drone. That uh, climb was steep as all hell. Jesus, I'm in tatters after it. Alison, on the other hand, she's kind of like Tigger. You know, she's constantly bouncing around somewhere. So, uh, I'm just going to sit here and catch my breath. Right where you left it. Holy crap! <laughs> I thought it had fallen down. Oh well. Ah, uh, God Almighty! I'm clearly a bit y too young to be going senile. I am your mother, aren't I? No, but you are a fucking legend. Thank you very much. Okay, while I lie in a hammock and recover, you can watch the drone footage now. spot is it? That rock wall in front of us is really beautiful. Mad spot this. Ah, how's the serenity? All right. Right for Allison. We are out of here. Homeward bound. But we'll be stopping a couple of places along the way. We're going to get a coffee at the pub in 
crap, what's the name of it? Oh yes, Prairie, where we actually stayed on the first night. Really mad pub, so well worth the look. And I'll check into you near there. Okay, slight detour. There's another lookout point over Porcupine Gorge, which we're going to go up and we'll have a quick look at that before we head to Hewenden. Think we're here? Yes, we are. I hope this doesn't involve more steep hikes. I'm really not in the mood for one at the moment. I'll just park over here. Yeah, this'll do. Right, let's have a look. Well, that's a hell of a view. And it was a really easy walk down it too. And my drone is out of battery, so I can't lose it again. So there you have it, folks. Porcupine Gorge. Definitely worth a spin up if you're in the area. Here's another detour. Just off the side of the road to Hewenden. Apparently it's called the Devil's Elbow. Elbow. God almighty, I can't speak this morning. Anyway. The Devil's Elbow, that's totally a name that was come up with by an Irish person. Absolutely had to be. So it's just another part of Porcupine Gorge. So uh, let's go have a look at this. You can see all the black rocks. This is a volcanic area and that's all basalt. Looks really cool. Okay. That's the last detour. Catch you all soon. It wouldn't be a Paddy Outback video in the Outback without some bloody cows, would it? Like, I swear to God, they're following me around. All in there to the right, just after running across the road. I'm sort of petrified that there's more coming. There doesn't appear to be. Look at them all there. Bastards. 32 degrees and it's only 11 o'clock in the morning. Gonna be a hot one. So we're just coming into the little town, inverted commas, of Prairie. And this is where we stayed on our first night out. They have this amazing, proper, Outback pub here, which was actually much much better than the Crocodile Dundee pub Way less kind of touristy if that makes sense So I'll show you the footage of that also Out there they have a water buffalo that lives out the back The pub has a pet buffalo and apparently you can pat it Her name is Buffy and mother of God those horns must be a meter long and I'm kind of scared now. Hey girl. Hey yeah. Uh. Holy crap. I'm just here patting a buffalo. Yep, just a buffalo getting treats, people. They got general shoes. <laughs> I'd say they have. Lay down. That's mad. <laughs>
This here's Mary. She uh, lives at the pub here in uh, Prairie. Grand girl, but uh, she's a little quiet. Do you want to drink, Mary? Do you want to drink? I'm going to show you the shower, folks. This is the shower here at the campsite. As you can see, we have a long pipe, a tarp for privacy, and you just turn it on here. And there you go, that's your shower. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to say. So there we have it, lads. The Prairie Pub. Awesome. Allison's turn to lead. We're just about to ride through the White Mountains National Park. Another wonderful spot which has an actually very enjoyable road through it. Unfortunately, I'm stuck behind a road train and a Subaru that doesn't know how to pass a road train despite having literally kilometers of clear road ahead. Oh, the road train's pulling off. Anyway, Allison and I stopped here the other day, so here's a look at that. So here we are at the White Mountains National Park. Located, uh, I'd say it's probably about 50 kilometers out from Prairie in Queensland on the way to Hewenden. I've driven through it before on numerous occasions, but I've never actually stopped here, and boy, am I glad I did. Go on, do it. Alison's trying to do a handstand. On bare rock as well. What could possibly go wrong? It's amazing. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a freaking view. Also, on the surface beneath me, it's absolutely covered in graffiti. I'll show you there, because it actually looks pretty cool in its own right. See? All of the names and everything scraped into the rocks. Normally I think graffiti is really stupid, but oddly it kind of works here. I think it looks really cool. Paul Simon was there in 1987. I wonder if it was the same one. So we got past the guy in the Subaru who on top of not being able to overtake a road train, also doesn't like when other people overtake him and he speeds up, dickhead. Anyway, we're now behind a camper van, so I'm just going to leave this video here. The rest of the way back to Townsville has featured in my videos before, so I'm not going to go filming it all again. Thank you very much for watching my little Outback adventure. Just thank you very much to all of you who have recently subscribed. I'll catch you all again soon. Good luck.